From outward-looking gadgets like Google Glass to wristwatch-like devices that sense what's happening inside your body, the tech industry has turned its focus to wearable computing. I think that the trend in general points to gadgets and electronics getting closer and closer to our skin, our eyes, uh, to be something that really integrates more closely with us. The basis band gets really close. It uses an array of sensors to determine a user's body temperature, heart rate, and a host of other data. We're trying to get at something much deeper than just how active you are. We're trying to get at real physiology. Google Glass is also efficient at capturing its surroundings. For technophiles like Sarah Hill, who received her glass in a special lottery, wearable gadgets are already proving their metal. Hill creates walking tours of war memorials, offering a unique eye-level experience as if the viewer is on site. This will help me greatly to bring veterans to a place that they might not otherwise get to see. Software developer Noble Ackerson has been tinkering with Glass's current capabilities as well as its future potential. I think we're going to get to a point where, or we're getting to a point where this stuff just becomes just part of us. As that happens, wearable devices will get even smarter and collect larger amounts of data. Security experts say users should take note. How is the data managed? How is it secured? Where is it stored? How many data centers is it stored? The wearable tech presents other challenges as well. I think it's an issue in terms of being distracted. I think the danger with these is, are people going to just have these on and just kind of killing time on the 405, you know? I say, well, I'll take a look at this movie that I'm watching at the same time. But as more of these gadgets get up close and personal, it will become harder to shed the dependence on technology. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.